All right, guys, so I'm actually going to run through my drift rig here really quick. So starting off with the rod. This is a bait casting rod. If you're not advanced, spinning rods work fine, but I feel like a bait casting rod, you get a lot more sensitivity. You can be quicker on the reel. Um, but this rod is a Akuma Guide Select Pro, a 9.9-6-12, which it's a little bit light. It's a good, like, steelhead rod, summer steelhead, you know, small little winter hatchery steelhead. Um, but it can handle bigger fish. I've caught some big Chinook on it, some Chinook over 20 pounds, and not ideal, but it will do. And uh, on here I have a Shimano Corrado K sweet reel. This is a fast gear ratio, I like a really fast gear ratio because... These salmon steelhead are fast fish and they fight hard and you gotta be able to pick up line and get to those fish and get a good hook set and then when they're running, I've had a lot of fish run right at me before and the fast gear ratio really helps keep up with those fish. On here I have braided line, this is 40 pound uh, braided line. Then I got a 15 pound bumper on here, about a six foot bumper attached to that braid. Coming down I got a little uh, snap Got a little weight hanging off. You could use anything, a pencil lead. You could use a little three-way dropper, uh, but that's a little Dave's Tingle free weight. You could use any little weight, split shot, pencil lead, whatever you prefer. And I've got about two, two and a half foot leader to a little quirky and eggs. And uh, like I said, kind of an old time setup and I'm kind of throwing this up about 45 degrees upstream, you know, letting it get down there. You kind of got to throw upstream and let it sink and get down to the bottom. And then about almost straight out in front of me is when it really starts to drift good. And I'm just gonna let it drift, follow that, keep my rod tip. You don't want your rod tip too high, you don't want your rod tip too low because then people are gonna say you're flossing. But I kind of keep it up, you know, at a little angle. And kind of follow that line as it drifts down. And that was a fresh bait of eggs and I had a bunch of smolt in here and they just picked me off, but um, kind of follow that line as it drifts down the river, follow that bait, kind of slowly reeling just to keep tight, just so you can feel. You want to be able to feel what's going on, feel that weight bounce on the bottom, uh, feel if a fish is picking it up. Right there's a little fish. So that's a fish on. And uh, not a big guy, he's either gonna be a little steelhead is what it actually looks like, yeah. So this right here is a little hatchery future steelhead. They probably just released it from the hatchery. And uh, gonna get this guy unhooked. Don't, don't beat yourself up, bud. Get this guy unhooked and let him go. If he'd stop splashing. There we go. There we go. Be free, buddy. Little future steelhead right there. And that just bit a little piece of, I had a little skein on there and a corky. And uh, basically, that's the goal right there, except to catch one about five pounds, six pounds bigger.